In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most simple passing plays that you can use in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, what I do here on YouTube every single day is I break down tips and tricks that are going to help you get better at offense and at defense in the game. So if you want to get the latest tips, the latest strategies, then not just that I use, but also the latest tips and tactics that pro Madden players are using, because we do a lot of film studies on them as well. Um, and we're going to probably be kicking off a series here in the next week or two that is actually going to be breaking down as we prepare for the next wave of the MCS, some of the key uh, things to look out for. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. I upload videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time uh, with new tips and new tactics just like this one. And I also want to let you know that we stream every night at 10 p.m. and basically answer questions live and uh, kind of break down the game live for people. We oftentimes will play with our subscribers, uh, play head-to-head -head with our subscribers and Madden. So if you're interested in all that, I would also encourage you to click that little notification bell icon at the bottom right-hand corner of your your screen so that you can get notified and so that you don't miss any of these important videos all right guys so gun slot offset and real quick it's completely free to subscribe on twitch it's cost subscribe for youtube it's completely free to subscribe um, so if you don't enjoy the content you can always unsubscribe at a later time but just wanted to let you know that all right so we're in the arizona cardinals offensive playbook and those of you that know me know that i have actually released an ebook full ebook on this playbook and it has stood the test of time. We actually released the ebook in September of 2020 and we've done some updates to it as the years progressed, but this offense has been good from the very beginning of the year and it's still very, very effective. So I want to break down this little play right here from the gun slot offset. It's one of my favorite mini schemes. There's kind of two, um, the gun two back in Arizona, I think is really, really good. You have you have two specific of two 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 back formation, you have split slot and slot offset. They look very similar, um, and so you can audible back and forth between the two of them really really easily. This specific one has some really good running plays. You have the RPO counter, the HB off tackle, the RPO read bubble, and then even like the mountain zone weak. Even the draw is really really good from this. But we're going to be breaking down flood now. What you want to do is you want to put your best wide receiver in this right slot position. Um, but for this video, we're just simply going to put, you know, uh, Equanimous uh, Equanimes or however you say his name, St. Brown. And then Marquez Valdez scaling. Okay, so we're going to run the play flood. And in general, you want to run the flood play to the wide side of the field. So in a perfect world, you would be on the left hash mark when running this play. But you don't have to be. You can run it to the short side. Now, I just want to show you first and foremost how this play works against play defenses like Cover 3 Mabel. This is one of the most popular defenses that you're going to see. Where they deep have both the outside guys. And you're basically, they're going to drive everybody back. But they got a flat and they got a buzz zone. What's really nice about this play is you can actually low ball that route right on the cut if they're running Mabel coverage. So if the user at the snap of the ball decides that he's going to go to the um, that he's going to go to the right side, right? So he decides he's going to go this direction. If he does that at the snap, you have an instant read. So I, oh, he goes that way. Low ball there. See that? And that's, you, you want to low ball it right on the cut, and you want it to be a possession catch. It's super, super simple, but it's super, super effective. Now, what if they don't Mabel, right? What if they don't? Well, then you're going to have a lot of openings here. This route is super hard to defend. Uh, these little slot out routes this year are so, so effective, um, especially if you put like a route technician or slot on them. It's going to make them even better against man-to-man -man coverage. It does beat man-to-man -man coverage as is. Um, you'll see that this thing does a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, if they run man-to-man -man coverage, this route's going to get nice outside position and be able to roll against any defense that they're going to face. Now, what about like the meta coverage, right? So they press, they shade coverage outside, over top, and they got two purples on the field that are shaded at 20, and they got a deep half. Something like this, right? This is a very popular uh, defense a lot of people like to use the same thing applies so you'll see right here if i get him out there i can i can have a chance to throw the out route as you can see right there it kind of takes that away with that purple zone coming from the inside player 
So what I would recommend um, that you do if they if they run the purple zone like from the linebacker, right? If they were to run this from the safety, like let's say they were to run this from the safety and they did something like this, now everything is different. The whole thing changes because the safety is not going to sit on it as much. So you have the low ball right there because he's starting over top leverage. When they have over top leverage, that's the worst kind of leverage to have. Um, when you're facing this specific route because of the outside leverage that you already have as the uh, as the route kind of basically gives it to you. So what you're going to be able to do right here, you know, if they do something like that, this becomes wide open for you. You can hit that low ball every day, every, every day of the week. And you don't even have to, I mean, you don't even have to low ball it actually. I mean, you could do something like this. We'll show you this. These are just different types of man coverages that I would anticipate people are going to run. So this is one of them. So you'll see right here when he goes, he basically is going to cut to the outside, low ball. These are purple zones that are shaded at 20 to 25 yards. One of the beauties of this specific route is it goes about 15 yards. So it's not a 20 to 25 yard route. So you'll see like with these, with these um, purple zones, if they're doing zone drops because they don't want to get like crossing routes and things like that, this actually becomes a really, really good read because even if they have purple zones on their field, you're going to see here, I can lowball this pretty easily right there on the outside, on the outside, um, line at the, at the outside, uh, um, sideline boundary. So you have that. The next thing that you have on this play, um, we haven't even touched on this yet, but this dig route's really good. Uh, of course, as I say that I throw a pick. Um, now, what I would recommend doing with your running back on that left side, he's kind of an option. You could do all kinds of things with him. I think his curl route gets a little too deep for me. So I would like to just simply put him on a wheel route or a swing route to the left side to clear space. But he's going to kind of pull those purple zones out of the way and give me a nice little pocket to be able to hit Adam. So you basically are forcing them to have to play hard flats on both sides as well when you do this because if they don't play hard flats these are just quick snap throws and we're going to take seven to eight yards every single time if we don't see a hard flat on the field we're going to throw the ball to the back every single time so then what's going to happen is they're going to do something like this they're going to start running hard flats quick coverage and that's when these back end things are going to open up you're going to be able to hit these um these routes to your receivers now what about cover two right what if they run like cover two something like that well, again, it's that same idea. If they're playing a hard flat, you're going to have the, the out route. If they're not playing a hard flat, you'll see right here that you're not going to be able to throw it. right? If they're not playing a hard flat, you're not going to be able to throw it unless, they do, unless they're doing zone drops. So if that's a hard flat that is, or a flat zone that is shaded at 20 yards, then you will be able to throw it. The other thing is against cover two, because you're running this to the wide side, you have this seam read to Valdez Scantling. That route is going to be open super, super frequently. Um, it doesn't matter if they get pressed or not. It's just an outside pass lead. Just make sure you pass lead it to the outside. But as you can see, it's going to beat cover two. So if they do run cover two, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. The other thing is, let's say your seam read's not there, right? Well, your quick flat read is, and you can take that for about five to seven yards. One other thing they might do uh, against you if they're running like cover two they might do something like this where they drop double flats. This is probably the best strategy that they are going to have. Um, but what you'll see here is it's going to leave that open. That, um, that You're going to be able to hit the, the streak, obviously. You're also going to be able to hit Devontae Adams. And then you're going to say, well, what if they you know, what if they do something like, like this where they essentially take him away with the linebacker and then they're double flatting on the side. This is probably the best coverage that they can get to it. But the thing is, if you watch here, um, you can kind of sneak that route into that little out route in um, in a tight window. So you have that also. One other thing I will say is from time to time, you want to be audibly around to different things and keeping them honest. So this RPO counter read is a really, really good running play to go to. Um, this counter run, I think, is super underrated as I get b bagged in the backfield here. But this is really, really effective. Um, and we actually did a whole section in the ebook on this two back set, this one and the one attached to it, split offset. 
to create a really, really powerful offense, in my opinion. Um, it goes, it coincides well with the spread. Uh, it coincides well with all of those different um, formations that we love out of the gun spread and out of the five wide and out of the cluster from Arizona. So if you want to pick up the entire offense where we break down every single thing that you need to know um, from the Arizona Cardinals offense and how to execute it at a very, very high level, the link is in the description. And it's really, really effective. I'm telling you, this this is going to force them to have to play a specific type of coverage. That then we're going to run another passing play, which we'll break down in the ebook. That's going to basically, you know, show them. Okay, now you're running this, and that's left this open. And that's the cat and mouse game. We're going to teach you how to do that in the ebook. So if you haven't picked it up yet, a lot of you have picked it up. But if you're watching this video, maybe you're a new subscriber, maybe you're new to the channel, and you haven't picked this up yet, I would highly, highly encourage it. I really believe it's going to help you get better at this game. So, anyways, that being said, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions at all about what you saw or the Arizona Cardinals ebook or anything really related to Madden, just text me. My phone number is 812. 812- 216-3644. It's also in the description as well as it's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. You can always text me uh, questions about Madden or whatever. We also have a free uh, playlist that I want to send you as well when you text in, which is basically um, 11, I think at this point, 10, 10 or 11 full schemes for Madden 21 to get, get, kind of get you started as well if you're looking for that. So shoot me a text message. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys uh, on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern.